Hello students, my name is Satish. Welcome back to my channel Techno Tips. In this video, I want to show you the main differences between the GET and the POST methods in PHP. Uh, GET method, these are the two main methods which are used to send the or to transfer the data from the client machine to the server machine using the HTTP protocol. Uh, the get method, I will tell you the features of both now, then we will see the difference. Okay, the get method which is used, uh, uh, used to send only the alphanumeric text from the uh, client machine to the server machine and also there is a limitation, the maximum up to 1024 characters we can send and also uh, the method which is used in get is so uh, the request parameters which are added at the end of the URL and uh, that will be sent through the URL. So that what happens is these parameters request parameters which are bookmarked in the bookmarked in the client machine and also it is visible to everybody. And uh, some of the features of the post method. Okay, so in the post method the data will be transferred through the HTTP protocol header itself so that it will not be visible to anybody and it is a secured method to send the data why because and that will not be bookmarked and that will not be visible to anybody and there is an encryption method which is there in the post method and also there is no limitation uh, uh, of data so maybe even you can uh, send the alphanumeric or maybe you can send any multimedia content also through the post method and the differences means like you know get method you can use it for only to send alphanumerics or some uh, no some data which is not at all a sensitive ones if you want to send a sensitive data like username or the passwords or uh, the account numbers or anything any sensitive information you want to send it's better to use the post method okay so now I will do a demonstration how we can use these two methods in HTML and PHP. Open a notepad and uh, write the basic HTML tags. HTML, say body and class body and the close HTML. Okay, so the user input controls you should add. Uh, within the form tag so we'll start with the form name which is equal to say login and here you should use an another attribute this method which is equal to get so i will i will show you first the get method then action which is server side pages which is to process the data which is sent so that you have to define a page here I'm not using any pages now. So I will add two controls. Uh, say username input type which is equal to text say name which is equal to username user break password I will place a one more uh, control as the name password right then I will place a one more button I want to place the submit button name say submit and value which is equal to say login or oh, sorry I want to change the name here say pass okay we are placed uh, two controls like a text box and a password and a submit button you know like uh, by clicking a submit button automatically it send the data which is inputted uh, to the username and the password control through the get method okay i want to save this okay i'll save this one as a login dot html so i want to run the program now 
okay just minimize it and open in the same page you have to open in a browser and I will choose an open with the Firefox so here you can see your username and the uh, password and the login button say for example like a SPD and uh, password I input it just and click the login just you can see the uh, address bar now c colon users admin desktop login dot html once you click the login now you can now you can see the uh, the url okay i will show you here in, in the page itself i will show you all right so till here till here it was the same and after that it added the parameters like username this is the name i'm used and the value username which is equal to spd ampersand pass is equal to sdmc and the last control submit button submit is equal to login the value okay uh, i told the difference between the get and the post method everything will be visible you can see the password here sdmc it is visible so better if i'm using a uh, better if you want to send the passwords or something you can use the post method okay now we'll see the post method okay just uh, use the same page and instead of the get i'm using yeah I'll open with the firefox once again you can see the uh, url here so i'm typing some values username and the password and click this login you okay, don't save so that will not be visible in the url the url same as it is uh, for the page itself that's it and the remaining values are added to the http header and that will be sent okay it is a secured method you can use it over thank you